students i hope you have understood the problem what i have solved in the last video in this video i have solved a different problem wherein we need to find out all kinds of material variance that means material cost variance material price variance material usage variance material mix as well as material yield variance so this is a different problem what we are doing now i hope it will make you understand the concept so let us now start with the problem the standard cost of a chemical mixture is as follows 4 tons of material x at rupees 20 per ton 6 tons of material y at rupees 30 per ton standard yield is 90% of input actual cost for a period is as follows 4.5 tons of material x at rupees 15 per ton 5.5 tons of material y at rupees 34 per ton actual yield is 9.1 ton and they have asked to compute all material variances that means we need to calculate material price variance material mix variance material yield variance material usage variance as well as material cost variance uh, let us go now find the solution uh, before that we need to find out the standard yield as well as actual yield so in order to compute that let us uh, solve this step so let us have three columns particulars standard and actual material x and material y material x they have used 4 tons that they have given in the problem and actual material x used was 4.5 per 4.5 ton material y standard is 6 tons actual is 5.5 tons if you add this becomes our total input so input 4 plus 6 it is 10 tons actual 4.5 plus 5.5 it is 10 tons this is our total input what we have used for production so out of this we need to subtract our standard loss so less standard loss so total input here we consider as 100 minus 90% 90% is the uh, this is the percentage of what we have used so this is our uh, standard yield so standard yield 90% now utilize madidive that means 10% we have not utilized in tartha so that is why we have recorded here as 10% so out of 10 tons if you if your loss is 10% then standard loss becomes 1 so 10 ton minus 1 becomes 9 tons this is your standard yield and for actual yield they have given in the problem itself actual yield is 9.1 ton so 0.9 is your balancing figure so 10 minus 9.5 9.1 is 0.9 that is your balancing figure so now let us calculate material price variance the formula for material price variance is actual quantity into standard price minus actual price so since they have given two materials we need to calculate that uh, two different intervals so let us find out material price variance for x and we'll find out material price variance for y so for x we'll put the values actual quantity is 4.5 standard price is 20 actual price is 15 so subtract 20 minus 15 we'll get 5 multiply that 5 by 4.5 will get 22.5 it is a positive value so positive figures will be uh, denoted as favorable balance as capital f so let us find out for material y actual quantity into standard price minus actual price so actual quantity is 5.5 standard price is 30 actual price is 34 30 minus 34 is minus 4 multiplied by 5.5 since uh, it's an uh, negative number if you multiply we'll get 22 as negative since the value is negative we'll put it under adverse so adana ad anta denote martivi so material price variance for x and y gotide but total x and y put together namage estu anta find out madbekare material price variance for x it is 22.5 minus for y it is 22 subtract these two 22.5 so 22.5 minus 22 if you subtract we'll get 0.5 as favorable balance since it is a positive number we'll quote it as favorable now let us find out material mix variance so material mix variance uh, the formula says standard cost of standard mix minus standard cost of actual mix so standard cost of standard mix so in order to find out this value we need to calculate under the formula of standard quantity multiply by standard price so we have two different materials material x and material uh, y material x 4 is our standard quantity into standard price is 20 equals to 
material y 6 into 30 is 180 so total it is 260 in the same sense we will find out the standard cost of actual mix the formula says actual quantity into standard price so for material x it is 4.5 into 20 if you multiply we will get 90 material y 5.5 into 30 equals to 165 we will add these two we will get 255 so now we have got standard cost of standard mix as well as standard cost of actual mix let us subtract that material mix variance equals to standard cost of standard mix minus standard cost of actual mix we have got two numbers that is 260 minus 255 if you subtract we will get 5 since it is a positive figure we will denote under F so material mix variance equals to 5 favorable balance so let us now find out material yield variance the formula says standard rate into actual yield minus standard yield so standard rate uh, we need to find out uh, the formula says standard cost of standard mix divided by standard yield we have uh, we have uh, these two values let us put those values to the formula standard cost of standard mix is 260 divided by standard yield is 9 so if you divide 260 by 9 we will get 28.89 so now let us find out uh, material yield variance the formula says standard rate into actual yield minus standard yield so our standard rate is 28.89 we have recorded here actual yield is 9.1 9.1 minus standard yield is 9 so 9.1 minus 9 is 0 0.1 it's a favorable balance that means positive balance if you multiply 0 0.1 uh, into 28.89 will get 2.89 so since it's a positive number will record it as F that means favorable balance now uh, we'll find out material usage variance in order to find that we the formula is standard price multiply by revised standard quantity minus actual quantity ill revised standard quantity yake kottidare anthe helidre ee problem alli standard yield kottidare andre 100% input hakidare adre avarge yield bandirodu andre total output bandirodu bari 90% andre Loss is 10 percent on Tarta. So loss is the same. Now actual guest quantity use made the win. Find out more 90 percent guest quantity use made the win. So other than find out more We need to find out revised standard quantity. And the formula to find out revised standard quantity is standard quantity divided by standard yield multiplied by actual yield. I repeat it again standard quantity divided by standard yield into actual yield. So now we will find out the value standard quantity of material x equals to 4 divided by 9 into 9.1 4 is our standard quantity divided by 9 is our standard yield and actual yield is 9.1 if you subtract or if you calculate we will get 4.04 .04. in the same way we will find out standard quantity of material x so it is 6 divided by 9 into 9.1 so if you uh, calculate we will get 6.06 so the total MUV now will put the formulas standard price into RSQ RSQ minus actual quantity uh, let us find out for material X and we will find out for material uh, Y so material X says 20 that is your standard price multiply by RSQ RSQ for material X is 0 4.04 .04. we have recorded here minus actual quantity is 4.5 so 4.04 minus 4.5 if you subtract will get 0 0.46 and multiply that with 20 since if you subtract you, you get a negative balance so if you multiply that with 20 you get 9.2 since it is a negative balance we will put it under adverse denoted by capital A it is 9.2 for material X now find out for material Y so material Y equals to 30 this is your standard price Revised standard quantity is 6.06 .06. that's what we have found out here 6.06 .06 minus actual quantity is 5.5 6.06 minus 5.5 if you subtract we'll get 0 0.56 multiply that with 30 if you multiply this two we'll get 16.8 since it is a fav positive number it will be denoted as favorable so if you compute now the total MUV what will get is 7.6 that means material x na matha material y na subtract madadre 9.2 matha 16.8 na subtract madadre we'll get 7.6 and we'll denote it as adverse balance and last thing what we need to find out here is material cost variance 
So the formula to find out material cost variance is standard quantity multiplied by standard price minus actual quantity multiplied by actual price. So we'll find out for material X. Material X equals to standard quantity is 4.04 .04 into 20. That is your standard price minus actual quantity is 4.5 into actual price is 15. So multiply maadi, subtract maana. So if you multiply these two, we'll get 80.8 minus 67.5. So if you subtract, we'll get 13.3. This is your favorable balance. And for material Y, 6.06 .06 into 30 minus 5.5 into 34. Multiply maana, we'll get 181.8 minus 187. If you subtract, we'll get 5.2 as our negative denoted as adverse balance. So 13.3 minus 5.2, we have recorded here. MCV equals to 13.3 minus 5.2. If you subtract, we'll get 8.1. This is your favorable balance. That means it's a positive number and denoted as favorable balance.